Hi, my name is Nurse Maria. Dr. Gorgi and his surgical sedation team have put together these instructions for you. They are designed to help you heal quickly and comfortably. Hi, I'm Nurse Maria. Hi, I'm Cyan. Cyan returns today following the removal of her wisdom tooth and she did amazing. We're going to show you today how to irrigate your wisdom teeth sockets. So you would have been given a Monojack syringe in your post-operative bag. What we're going to ask that you do is fill up a cup full of warm water, doesn't necessarily need to be salted, and you're going to use your Monojack syringe and you're going to get it right in the water and you're going to draw up a full syringe full of water like this. I'm going to show you how to irrigate your surgical areas. I'm going to use a mirror to pull the cheek out, but what we're going to ask that you do is just use your finger, like so, pull the cheek as far out as possible, and what that does is it allows easier access into the surgical areas. So we're going to pull the cheek out as far as it can. You're going to take your pre-filled syringe, Using the tip, you want to get around the, the back molar like this. You don't want to hover on top, but rather get the tip directly inside the hole. Doing so will ensure that all of the food particles will come out. Cyan did an amazing job keeping everything nice and clean. And so her areas healed quite nicely and very quickly. I'm going to show you, you can go ahead and spit out, Cyan. I'm going to show you how to irrigate the top area as well. And so what you want to do is irrigate all four of your surgical areas, if that's what we've done. And you're going to use one syringe full. If you need to use two, you can go ahead and do that. The upper area, the food tends to fall out naturally because of gravity. But even so, we still want you to do this. Find the back molar, get the tip directly in the back of that back molar, and then just flush like that. 